Hello everybody, welcome to another video tutorial. This is part one of a two-part video tutorial on how to make this lightsaber out right here out of PVC pipe. And let's get started with what you're going to need to build this thing. You will need a Dremel um, to cut through the PVC pipe and whatnot, and you're going to need these like little cut-off wheels and drill bits for the Dremel. A grinder works really good uh, for the piping as well. You're going to need a heating gun, not a blow dryer, but a heating gun. A saw to cut through the big pieces of pipe, and uh, various grades of sandpaper super glue, definitely gloves and goggles, uh, measuring tape or a ruler, marking pens and scissors and a piece of paper and these are the three pipes you're going to need you see their measurements right there and uh, reflectix tape works good to give it a metallic shine uh, flat black latex paint if you want to distress it afterwards and these two little things of paint which is testers model air paint, paint gold and gloss black uh, body filler bondo uh, works good to fill in some cracks so let's get started we're going to start with the center piece, the medium size, and we're going to take the smaller PVC pipe and we're going to stick that into the center piece and you could see how they're going to be layered. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the center piece, which is the one inch PVC pipe, as our primary hilt uh, of the saber. And what we're going to do, what I'm doing here is just kind of making my designs because uh, of what, just kind of making my designs for where I'm going to put the O-rings and, and uh, the outside edges. What you do here, you take a piece of paper. Why do you take a piece of paper is because it's easier when you do it this way. You wrap it around the tubing and you could actually get a pretty straight line. It's hard to get good cylindrical cuts without some kind of guide rail. Paper works pretty good to use as a guide rail. As you can see what I'm doing there, this is still the one inch piece. And what we're going to do is we're going to put the three quarter inch piece, the small piece, uh, inside of that, but we're going to do that later. What I'm doing here on the medium piece is um, measuring for the strips that I'm going to put on top of that, which you'll see further up in the video tutorial as we progress. Um, this is now the large piece, which is I'm going to use to make the O-rings, and you can see there, those are the little strips that I'm going to put on top, but first we got to cut it. So, go ahead, do this. You could also cut this with the with a Dremel or a grinder, but I just used a saw because it was quicker. Uh, please find a better technique than putting it on a carpet with two little pieces of wood. You use a grinder really good because it gets it allows you to get that really good edge. It's kind of like a belt sander almost. The problem with this is the PVC pipes I got at Home Depot and Dixie Line, they do not fit perfectly together in couples. So what I have to do is I have to actually do not cut like this towards your thumb, but you could see I cut it and I'm able to cut just a little gap on the outside edge. Just cut a little gap on the outside piece and clamp that in there. I'm going to go ahead and take my rough sandpaper and sand down the middle piece and uh, just get that good and rough where I'm going to attach it and glue it and I sand it down the inside of the attachment piece and now you just use the heating gun and heat it up and the piece that you're attaching you want to get it heated up till it gets kind of soft. Go ahead, put your glue on there, make sure they're both warm and that outside piece you see how it gets soft and it really helps it meld. Wear gloves when you do this, wear goggles and wear a mask um, because if you don't, the fumes of the super glue from the heat will get in your eyes and they could actually blind you. So you do want to wear some good good working gloves and whatnot and, and uh, pref preferably a little breathing mask. Um, so basically, keep going. These are my little strips now that I'm going to put on top and I'm just taking them up to the grinder and grinding them down and, and it's kind of kind of visually explanatory uh, just getting them down to my consistency please be very very careful when you do this if you're don't let a kid do this unsupervised uh, you gotta really kinda it, this is dangerous um, there's no other way to say it it's it's dangerous to do this kind of stuff but uh, so there's my four strips I'm gonna place all four of those strips on there like so and uh, that's kind of how they're going to go on and attached and that's why I did that little cross section at the bottom of the hilt so you could see that and go ahead and, and use a really rough sandpaper on the bottom of that and then go ahead and use a rough sandpaper for where I'm going to attach it again I'm going to heat up the PVC piping right here just to get it kind of warm and the strip that I'm attaching I'm going to heat that up to where it actually gets soft and you don't want to hold it on there too long with the heating gun because it will burn it now that just applies right there add the glue what you also do with this is you could add glue around the edges of this to really give it a better coat and a better seal and you just re you know I'm just repeat that step um, with all these other little pieces and this is the bottom of my lightsaber handle um, you see how it's nice and soft you don't want the piece that you're attaching it to to be soft just the pieces you're attaching to be soft um, so it keeps its shape 
Uh, so that's pretty much the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is take my ruler and start doing more measurements, figure out where I want my next O-ring. Uh, let's just move it up a little bit more and um, I'm going to go back to the large pipe, the one and a quarter, put that on there and uh, decide I'm probably just going to make this maybe an inch or half of an inch and again go back to the paper, use that as a guideline for where the O-ring is going to uh, stop. So that's pretty much it. Um, go ahead, this is the uh, larger piece there that I'm cutting with the Dremel just to get rid of the access uh, and then I grind it down on the grinder. You've got to be very careful with this. Wear cut proof gloves if poss possible. Um, so you don't get hurt but yeah you know pretty much do that you sand down the inside of that you sand, I mean it's pretty much the same steps again you see how the problem is how it doesn't fit perfectly I have to actually grind with the cutoff wheel just a little bit of gap so I could actually clamp it in there and just like that that's enough to tighten it up now what we're gonna do is sand this down and and sand sand down the other piece now we're gonna heat it up with the heating gun um, and attach it, glue it on there, heat it up again just to seal the outside coat. What I'm doing here is I'm taking this piece of paper. You'll see what I'm doing in a second. But w w The reason I'm doing this is um, because the inner PVC pipe is go it's, it's, it's basically a three-layered lightsaber hilt. And what I want to do here is similar to what Qui-Gon had in episode one where the inside of his lightsaber was kind of cut open and, and you'll see here you it, this is just kind of like I said visual so much of this is visually explanatory um, just cut this out and what I'm gonna do with this is use this as a tracer so I could cut out a piece of the the lightsaber so you could see the inner tube um, which we could you'll see as we progress and go along um, you know you just want to cut along those lines get in those edges um, and you see how I'm cutting it like this. What I'm going to do now after I punch this out is take a grinder wheel on the Dremel. As you can see, I'm swapping it out there. And I'm going to smooth out the inside of that, as you can see what I'm doing here, and really get into that shape to give it that nice roundness uh, that, that it needs. And um, then I'm going to go ahead again with the rough sandpaper and uh, start sanding that stuff down too. Um, so you see what I'm doing? This is basically, see, that's your basic shape right there. Um, now you got to sand down those edges like I said and I'm going to go ahead and, and figure out where I'm going to attach uh, more outer o-rings from the larger PVC piece and uh, basically you know sand it down and you're just pretty much repeating all the steps for the outer attachments of the PVC the outer PVC the large piece and then you know just measuring it marking it off and um, it's the best way to do it to make sure you you get it done right now you go ahead and start heating up that PVC you know repeat the same step same process uh, heat and you know same same steps you could see how the the outer o-ring is kinda soft right there from the heat that's the consistency you kinda want it when you're attaching it um, but not the inner piece just the outer piece and go ahead and glue that around the edges and add some heat to that to, to seal that up so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mark off where I'm going to just make my cut to uh, cut down this piece use the grinder to smooth out that end so it has a nice smooth end to it and it's uh, level and now I'm going to take the small piece and insert it in the large piece and there's the problem I'm telling you about folks it doesn't go in too smooth so what I have to do is I have to take the Dremel and a grinding uh, a cutoff wheel and uh, just take it down the strip with a cutoff wheel and uh, make it just just a few centimeters is all it's off and uh, just enough to get that to clamp together and then it will slide right inside nice and smooth and what you're going to do when that slides inside is you're going to hide that seam by putting it on the underside as you can see what I'm doing there get the rough sandpaper and uh, sand the inside of that saber and then you go ahead and heat it up and uh, go ahead and, and add a bunch of glue on the inside of that and then you attach it put it in there really quick and be careful because it will dry pretty quick when you do this process and now that crack is sealed in the back and now you have the basic kind of shape of your lightsaber. Thanks for watching part one. Please uh, tune into part two for the rest of this video tutorial.